Atlantis might be the most terrifying defense in Madden 24. It's another glorious day on the virtual gridiron. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to Dad Sun Gaming YouTube channel. We're here with you with another Madden 24 strategy video. Now, before we get started, what's up with my 49ers? We're 2-0. and Do you think we have what it takes to make it to an NFC Championship game? If so, who do you think we'll be facing? Also, Cleveland Brown fans, my heart goes out. Nick Chubb had a devastating injury. My prayers are that he recovers and finishes his career in a good way. And Jet fans, you have no Aaron Rodgers. You got Zach Wilson. Do you still think you can win? Comment below your thoughts on NFL. Now, let's get into what we're here to talk about. Folks, I discovered a strategy that I used on a seven-game stretch in Mutt. And I want to show you my results of this strategy. I want to show you the defensive results I've gotten. You're going to see the strengths and the weaknesses. You're going to also see how to cover the weakness of this defense to turn it into one of the most deadliest defenses you've ever seen. I swear, I've never had a blitz come in as fast as this one. It is absolutely crazy. Now, before I go into any type of strategy, you're probably wondering, hey, why should we listen to you? What qualifies you to talk to us about competitive Madden? Well, ladies and gentlemen, if you're not familiar with me, if this is your first time, on this channel, I posted that I was in the top 60 in the world in regs, and also I am currently in the $125,000 MUT tournament, which is most feared, and I am currently ranked at the time of this video, top 51 in the world in MUT, and I've beaten competitive and pro players to get to that, and we're waiting to see who we face in ladder matches, but again, we'll sh kind of share our journey with that as we come, and hopefully we can try to make it to a live event. That's a tough thing, but we're gonna see how we fare Again, very, very tough, very, very hard grind if you're in the MCS tournament. You gotta play a lot of games and that can be very, very repetitive. Also, I show my games, not those games, but I show my regular games, daily games live. I live stream quite a bit. If you wanna see my live streams and you wanna see what I'm using as far as offensive and defense strategy, then make sure you tune in. There's a link below. We stream live on Twitch, we stream live on Facebook, and we stream live on YouTube. And you can see everything. We are currently on a 23-game win streak in Mutt on stream. So again, tune into the live. And I also want to announce something, folks. I want to announce a new membership to this channel. It is called Alpha Legend. Now, this membership is a premium membership. It is $2.99 a month. And here's what you'll get if you choose to subscribe. There will be exclusive videos that will never be seen by anyone else other than Alpha members. And these videos will include exclusive game plans. I'm gonna be doing a series called A Play A Day or Seven Straight Days where I break down and give you defensive game plans, the strategies behind them, how to adjust to everything. And this way you can have everything you need to be able to be a competitive Madden player. I'm gonna also be doing exclusive month videos those videos will only be exclusive to my Alpha Legends member. So when you hear me call out Alpha Legends and I have exclusive videos, guys, these are videos that no one else will see but you. And so again, become an Alpha Legend for just $2.99 a month. You can become an Alpha Legend. It's definitely worth it if you want to get your Madden game up. Now, let's talk about defense while you're struggling. Well, I'm going to give you a few reasons why you're struggling. Number one, you're looking at YouTubers who don't show any credentials. They give you these plays, and there is no one play that stops everything. There's no two plays that stop everything. You have to make adjustments, and you have to adjust to what the defense is doing. And a lot of times when you listen to people, make sure you see that they stream live because they could be giving you plays that get cooked just for content, right? They're just making content they want you to watch. And again, not calling on anybody, but I don't care what nobody says. A three, four odd cannot cover every formation in Madden. So guys, stop running the three, four odd because you're getting destroyed. You have four linebackers. If someone lines up in a bunch and that linebacker has to cover a wide receiver, man, that is a matchup 
nightmare for you on defense because a linebacker cannot cover a speedy wide receiver and they're going to get cooked. So 3-4 odd is decent, it's good, but it is not going to be good in competitive Madden and you are getting killed. So if you're sick and tired of getting killed in defense and you need a game plan that's going to apply pressure, then check out this gameplay. And afterwards, I'm going to give you one of the defenses that you can use. And if you want the rest of them, they will only be available for my Alpha Legend members. So let's dive right in and let's show you this gameplay. All right, guys, this is our first game, game one. We're going to start off with the blitz and set it up. And we're going to see if we can catch our opponent off guard. I'm not sure he's used to seeing anything this fast. So we get it set up, and this is what happens. We scream, baby. Check it out. Oh, my God. Woo, you never seen anything that fast. So next possession, we disguise our coverage. You're going to a zone to play coverage, and he's expecting the blitz. Doesn't get it, but he does get pressure in his face. Throws it, and Richard Sherman with a nice pick and return. And again, you're going to see a common theme. We're going to blitz and pitch. So now we got a turnover on the ensuing possession. We go for our pitch, and we're going to walk into the end zone with an easy pitch. So now we're up 7-0, to zero and we go to set up our blitz again, and we want to shoot the gap, and we get blocked. Look at that block. It caught us. He jukes us, and guess what? He is out. My man just scored a big run. I don't like that at all. Got to adjust. So next possession, not to be all done, we throw a pass and we hit him with a dot. Oh, okay. You wanted to know if he would show emotion to his homie? I think he will. I think he's fine. Now we get him all the way to a fourth and 12. He no huddles us. And we forgot to adjust our corner in a deep blue. And we're going to pay for that because he hits us with a corner route out of bunch. And on that bunch side, we have to send that deep blue back there. And we didn't, and so we had Buda Baker matched up against a wide receiver, and he is not a good coverage corner, and he's a safety. So we learned a lesson there. Can't get burnt like that. Now, opponent's having trouble stopping this pitch, so we're going to pitch it again, and we're going to go to the left side, and we wait, and we're going to do some nifty shifting with Fred Taylor here. And again, we break a tackle, and we are out of there. That pitch is deadly. I will have that available in my new Deadly Dual Threat ebook. We got our opponents to a third and 10. And we're going to line up on our blitz. And even though we don't get there, look, it forces an overthrow. So you will have inaccurate throws when you use this blitz. So now we're at a fourth and 10. And he has to get this right here to keep his drive alive. If not, we get the ball. And he throws it. And guess what? We're one-on-one, -on -one, but we stop him. And he is not able to convert. We get the ball turnover on downs. And this is where this type of defense will begin to break your opponent's will. And when you break a person's will, and again, you're only up by seven points, they do this. They go out and they just quit. They don't want any more. They don't want to see it anymore. And that's what this type of blitzing will do. And so then it's on to our next opponent, checking out his team. And again, we're going to do the same exact thing. And so our opponent gets the ball on offense and the same exact thing. We're going to set up our blitz. And he has nobody in backfield, so we're going to get to him really fast. And so we are setting up, we're adjusting, and watch how fast it's coming. The fastest blitz I've probably ever seen. Watch this. Boom. He had less than two seconds to make a decision. And guess what, folks? He is out of there. His will was broken in two seconds. That has to be a record. I've never broken an opponent's will in two seconds. That is a record for me. Now, sometimes when you're running a defense that sends a lot of pressure, your opponent will try to no huddle you in order to force you to rush your adjustments. And sometimes this will happen. As you see, he's no huddling and he's no huddling. But again, when he does that, just make sure you got the guy you want to cover. Get as much in as possible and try to cover everyone. And again, just do the best you can and make sure that you are at least getting everyone covered. And once you get a chance, make sure you shade inside and watch what's going to happen. We're going to get the ball because of this mistake. Is all mad to you. I'm the man. I'm the man. You got me the ball. I got you the ball. You got the ball. You got me the ball. You got me the ball. 
And that inside shade got me an interception and I got the ball. Now we're up 20 to, to nothing. Now, our opponent is at fourth and eight. His pride is on the line. And if we stop him, we get a turnover on downs. And guess what we're going to do? We're going to just kind of line up in our defense and we're going to get an outside edge screamer. Boom. And that's it. Turnover on downs. Now we get the ball back and we're going to go to our pitch offense. And look at all that green right there. All those yards. And our opponent cannot take this. And he just gets his ankles broken. And guess what? Give it to us again. Our opponent does what? You guessed it. He quits. And guys, I'm just going to save you the trouble. In our next game, it's 14-14. I ended up getting two stops on him and pitching the ball and scoring it. And again, even though I'm in scoring range, he can't stand getting blitzed. So again, I'm going to call a no huddle and I'm literally going to pitch. So it already blitzed him. And you see the score is 14 to 14, but because of him getting blitzed like crazy, you know what? He just decides that he has had enough and come on, give it to me. Give it to me. You know, you want to quit. And there it goes. Another quit. We got a new opponent. Same results. We're going to blitz him and we're going to hit him in the backfield. Boom. Second and 18. Same result. And so. We're inside a scoring range, and again, we blitz and pitch, so we're going to go with the pitch, and once we get into the end zone, we shake our opponent's ankles, and guess what? Wait for it. Wait for it. And another quit. So guys, as you saw from that clip, I literally went through six games, and all of them were quits. Now, imagine you having this defensive game plan and you not only being able to stop your opponent, but breaking their will. That comes in handy when you're in a tournament like the MCS tournament or you're playing Madden Champs or Madden Seasons and you really want to get your Madden coins up. Imagine being able to play six games in a span of just 40 minutes and you're able to earn coins or get through tournaments a whole lot faster. Trust me, you will be in that position when I show you what I got to show you. So as promised, I'm going to give you one play and one adjustment, and I will be uploading the entire defensive game plan, which will consist of multiple formations and multiple adjustments to this channel. It will be inside of the Alpha Legends Vault. So if you come to this channel and you don't see those videos, it's because you are not an Alpha Legend. So Alpha Legends, you're going to have some fire content. And remember, it's only 10 cents a day to get strategy that will take your Madden game and defense to another level. And I ask that you do a couple of things. Number one, make sure you subscribe to this channel because we're gonna have other content that's available for everyone. And then if you would like to become part of Alpha Legends, make sure you join the Alpha Legends so you can get access to the content that I'm gonna be uploading. I'm gonna be doing a play a day series. So now let's dive into the tutorial that is available for everyone. And uh, let me switch my screen here. And we're going to go right into it. So this is a pretty good defense that I'm going to kind of share with you. So I'm going to choose a formation and I'm just going to choose one that has corner routes. And we're going to show you how to kind of use this defense to get what's called a coverage sack. So we're going to go in a tight open and we're going to choose a play uh, bench Z spot. Now, the best defense that I like to use or one of the best defenses I like to use is a lot of them I like to use is I love the big nickel over G. I love it for two reasons. Number one, for some reason, it seems like you get a lot more block sheds the way that these uh, safeties and linebackers are positioned. Another thing is you can actually get an additional audible or an additional hot route or defensive hot route to your safeties because of the way that they're positioned. So again, you're going to have five defensive backs. And before you even dive into this, we're going to make some adjustments. So double click the thumbstick and you're going to make your adjustments here. Now, I would always keep the auto flip on to leave it on on so it can actually follow that slot corner with that slot receiver. And then I'm going to take my auto alignment. I'm going to turn that to base on uh, ball and air defense. I want to change that to play ball cornerback matchups. Now, if you have cornerbacks with abilities and you want to keep them matched up against the best receiver, Leave it on overall, but if you don't have a lot of cornerbacks with a lot of abilities, put it on speed. This way you'll match speed for speed. 
Option defense, I always put that on conservative. This way they follow the quarterback on those read options. And again, you won't get a quarterback going on in a naked option without anyone getting to him. That is very annoying. I'm going to leave strip ball on balance, tackle on balance. I never mess with these folks. And anyone that tells you to mess with these pre-snap doesn't really know what they're doing because I say that because these are meant to be used to adjust to what your player is doing. If I just go and set these at 30, maybe my opponent is a person that likes to tear up the flats. You're going to be giving up seven yards of play on the flat. They only need two passes to get a first down. So I would not even mess with this. I would see what your opponent is doing first and make these adjustments accordingly. Again, that doesn't make any sense to me as a competitive player, as a pro player, to mess with these. Just do it as your opponent gets you in a situation. Sometimes maybe on you know fourth and short, third and short, you know they're going to throw a short pass. You may want to move these to zero so that you actually play the whole entire flat. So again, make these adjustments as, as you see fit. Zone coverage, I like to leave that at match. So I'm turning to match because match is still decent. Not as good as it was last year, but it's still serviceable. So again, what match will do is even in a zone defense, they will match the routes as a receiver and pass them off to the next receiver. And this way, they'll be covering, covering uh, passing areas on the field that normally wouldn't get covered. Zone, they're just going to play that area. Match, they're going to follow the receiver and try to play the route. So again, it's imperative to have that on. So once I have that adjusted, then I want to go to substitutions and I want to take out my linebacker. So I'm going to go all the way to the linebacker and I want to make sure that right outside linebacker number 33 is subbed in with a free safety. So I'm going to sub him in with a free safety and you may have multiple free safeties or strong safety. So you can sub him in with whoever you want. And this actually puts more speed on the field. So I'm going to go in and sub him in with um, this gentleman, right? This guy right here. And now, I actually have six defensive backs on the field and I have a linebacker. And so now I have enough speed to literally make sure I have decent coverage. Now the play we're going to call is going to be pinch blitz right here, the middle one. So what pinch blitz, what we're going to do is when we call it, you're going to see the safety automatically walk down. So I'm going to hit a, and now that safety walks down, but that's okay. Now, what you want to do is you want to actually make your user the middle linebacker. The middle linebacker will be assigned to play the running back coming out of the backfield. And so literally you can keep that assignment if you want, and you can actually shade accordingly. And you see this corner to the left right here, he is going to be blitzing. So what I like to do in this, I want to hover to the middle linebacker. You do not want to hover to the safety. And what you're going to do is you're going to use quick adjustments to call your adjustments here. So I'm going to double tap Y. It's going to bring up all of my available defensive backs. So now I have adjustments I can make on all of them. And so I have five adjustments. So I'm going to take A and I'm going to put him into a outside third. And so as you see, you can actually shade them accordingly. So by doing outside there, I'm going to hit R. And again, I have this adjustment to have him play the corner route. Now that I have that, I'm actually going to leave everything as is. So I have one zone on the field, or if you want to get really, 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 really creative, you can actually take this defensive lineman here by tapping left on D-pad twice and then pressing him and then putting him into what's called a curl flat. Now you have a really good zone concept. And so again, uh, that, that kind of gives you some room to hover and he will hold that running back flat, that running back flat route until you can get to it. So you can have a look that looks like this and you can just come in here and you can just mug the gap. And this is going to end up in a coverage sack. So I'm going to sit here and mug the gap and we're going to see how this plays out. And as you see, boom, we have a looping safety. So he has about three seconds to make a read. If we go to the replay, we're just going to look at what's covered. So again, folks, you have everything covered other than this corner route right here. We can make an adjustment on that, but literally, you can bring that guy down, but you literally have everything on this side of the field covered. And look at your linebacker. You're, you're literally just having a cover sack. Now, you can go out here and get that guy, or you can put him on a hard flat to do so, but you have pressure that is looping around. So let's count in real time how many seconds he has. One, two, three, four. So he has four seconds to get rid of the ball, and we can make this come in a whole lot faster. So we're going to do this again. And this time, we're going to make another little small adjustment that you can do. And so some of you may be concerned about 
this guy right here. So what I would do here is if you know he's going to run a corner route, you can actually do your quick adjustments. And then you can actually put this safety You can put this safety on the outside third to play the corner route. And then you can still keep your person down if you want. And uh, again, you have Travis Kelsey. So you take this one here. And you just put him on a uh, middle third if you want, or you can put him on the outside third as well. And so you now you now you have two outside thirds. You have this hover, and you can actually leave that. Uh, you can actually match him up by hitting the right D pad again. Match him up with the running back, and now you can actually have this as a free roamer or blitzer. So now you have a whole different concept. And you can blitz him, and then you can even call a shade in. So again, if you know he's running the corner route, even though there's no person matched up against him, then we don't care about that. So let's see how it looks now with this coming in. And you see it's gonna get there a lot faster. And so now we're gonna do a replay, and we had everything on the field covered. So again, if that person's gonna leave the corner route, we do a replay, and let's see, it, let's see who was open. And this is a concept I've used a lot when I know it's gonna be a corner route. So again, let's see who's open. All right, we have this coming in. We have everyone being covered. And look, well, you have this covered. This guy's in perfect position to make a play because he's outside 30. You got this covered. You're not really worried about this because if you want to, you can rotate this with the linebacker. and You can come back out with the linebacker if you want to and catch that. You got Travis Kelsey. And then you got this running back that's kind of that's covered as well because he can jump that. So again, you have the safety on the running back. He just doesn't really have the time to make a good read. And so this is a blanket. This is what you consider a complete bag when you have two corner routes out here. So if you're having trouble stopping corner routes, the two things you want is pressure. And again, we got pressure right here. Boom, a complete bag. And to make things even better, I'm going to go back and we're going to resume. I can even do it to where... I can actually still have this safety come in. I'm actually giving you guys more than I said I would. I can do it to where I can still have the safety come in off the blitz. And what I can do is I can move this guy over because he is a safety. And what I can do is I can press in as, as a linebacker and I can literally curl flat him if I want to. And again, that is going to be able to get to uh, Travis Kelsey quicker. And I can literally keep him in as a running back and have the safety go. And so now let's look at this adjustment. And guess what? Boom. Still have safeties. So again, I may have had uh, Kelsey open there, but you know, either way, it's a lot of different variations you can do. So I'm going to show you one other thing. And up oh, there's the vault content. All right, folks, can't show this. You got to be a Alpha Legend member for this one. All right, guys. Hey, thank you for watching. That's all for today. Now, if you want to get more videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel. If you want my exclusive premium content. Become an Alpha Legend today by clicking that join button right below this video. And if you want to follow us, there's a link below. You can follow us on all our social media and you can be on our live stream. And as an Alpha Legend member, you have access to exclusive stickers and you're eligible for a cash app giveaway. So again, there's a lot of value in that membership. Thank you so much for watching. Have a blessed day.